In this video, we want to discuss variables and understanding variables. And so to begin, what we need to do is we need to look at the various uh, ways that you can configure variables and, and what they mean. But first of all, let's talk about the concept of a variable and how you should probably think about it to get it clear inside of your mind's eye. So variables are like a box or a bucket or even a container, right? So these things are items or objects that you put things inside of, okay? And so essentially a variable is just that. It's a piece of data that will hold other data, if that's even another or even a better way to explain it. This will become a little bit more clear on this screen. So to begin with, variables are configured with two things. And first of all, you have to give the container or the box a name. And inside of the box or inside of the container, you have to give it a value to hold. And to make this a little bit more clear, here's an example. I've created a variable with the name called var my variable one, and I've said that it's equal to three. Remember the data types in the video before this one? This data type is numeric. Now let's look at this same setup with a new variable, because we're going to give it a similar but slightly different name so that it's unique. And we're also going to set it to three. But notice I have some quotes around it. That's what they referred to in programming as a string literal or what you use to put text inside of. So anytime you're going to make a string or a string of text, you always have to put it usually inside of a quote or quotes like you see there or single quotes. And so this, even though it's a number three, you couldn't do three plus three or three plus some other number because this three is not really a three. It's just a character. In order for it to be calculated, it has to be as a type numeric. So not only is it important that, you know, the name is distinct so that these two variables don't share the same name and that they're treated separately, you also have to understand that even though the number three is held in both of them, because of the data type, it also makes it distinctly different and that controls the behavior of that, okay? So this is where, you know, when you're trying to wrap your head around variables and understanding them, especially not being a programmer, you can get tripped up. And of course, anybody that is a developer that's going to be a developer, you know, they may get hung up on this as well. So if you're really, really confused right now, then I would suggest that the... Um, concept of variables is probably the most simplest things to understand and if you're already struggling at this stage and level then a two things you need to stick with it until it just becomes uh, you know it makes sense to you and uh, you know however long that takes it takes the other thing is is that you know maybe programming or maybe low code no code or any type of coding is not really your thing and you're you're already struggling so just it's okay everybody has unique distinct uh, capabilities and you know we're all a little bit different but you know I don't want to discourage you but at the same time I also want you to kind of realize that this is as bad as easy as it gets and it does get a little bit harder for, well I'll actually a lot harder from here on out um, so again everything with enough practice, you can become very, very good at it. So it really just comes down to how determined are you to achieve a goal. And if you're uh, very headstrong and, you know, you have the mentality that I'm not going to let anything take me down and, uh, you know, I'm going to conquer all things, then by all means stick with it. You'll, you'll be totally fine because honestly, that's kind of the way that I approach life in certain aspects. And uh, it's worked well for me up to this date. In any event, just kind of wanted to throw that in there because, you know, in all fairness, uh, I think a lot of times people that try to teach people things, especially in programming, they don't give people a real world assessment. And at the end of the day, it ultimately comes down to you, your decision and your will and determination. OK, so with that being said, uh, let me show you one last variation on this one. So here's my variable three. So this is now a distinct third variable and its data type is Boolean. It's just holding true. OK, now I will say this in some languages and some low code, no code platforms that true. Notice that it's not in quotes and in some cases and in some scenarios. So this is where you have to check the documentation. True may or may not be required to be put in quotes. So you'll just have to check again the documentation to see how this is. All right. That's it for this video. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks.